Raiders are the most powerful pact, in my opinion, of all the packs. The Sanguine Pack is the best, in my opinion. The year is 1893 AD. I have science turned off as a victory, but I don't even think I, had, I would have needed to. I got lucky with my opponents. None of these opponents, except for the except exception of Cleopatra, is really into science. I am conquering in culture. I'm conquering in culture. As Harold Hardrada. And I have uh, diplomatic victory turned off for the Gathering Storm because I think diplomatic victory is kind of weird to have it as a guessing game so to speak in order to win long story short then I have religion because nobody ever ever has won a religious victory in any games that I've played but I put it there just because. Vampires, I have four of them, and all I do in the very beginning, as soon as I get my first one, I start pillaging. Because it's inevitable that I'm going to go to war with at least one or two civilizations in the very, very beginning. And I'm always the non-aggressor, unless they transgress against me and give me a good reason. I'm usually not the aggressor. It works in my favor that way. I use my vampires to loot and pillage everything across the board when it comes to science, culture, faith, gold. Oh yeah, and being the Herald Hard Rada, I get an extra bonus just for being Herald. It is huge. So that is why I have progressed so far in science. Maybe I should have had science victory turned on. But I may have gotten unlucky and gotten a different civilization that's just overpowered in science and ruins the game for me. And then it's just restarted to a different game anyway. There are many civilizations that do that. And I got lucky this playthrough. And two of them may have been eliminated in the very beginning because there's only 10 of us left out of 12 on a huge map vampires are the best pack to choose in my opinion let me just show you all of this is going to be looted so in all of this here I'm gonna walk through with my vampires now let me just show you in the past history I have already with my vampires because I went to war with England and then once I'm, let me just let me just say I was not the aggressor, okay? And whatever war that England was roped into or got tangled into with me, you know that's just how things go in Civilization VI. So I took my vampires, and I, I all of this has been pillaged, and it's, it's it's already been fixed already probably. She has repaired all of this, but all of this. All of this pink was pillaged by me. All of this pink I pillaged. I pillaged all of the pink. I have not been at war with Simon. He's got a robot right here. But him and I are not at war. We've never been at war. He may be thinking about it. But that's okay. I've got a railroad. I've got railroads all the way across my empire. I can I've got one of these one of these um, robots here that I've got two of them I got two giant death robots in the year 1893 but I've had them I had them way back in like 1850 okay and I've got two jets I had those back in like 1840 two fighter jets that's all thanks to my vampires pillaging science mostly and then culture goes along with that I am ahead in culture not because of my vampires, but because of uh, my artwork. And we'll, we'll discuss that in a minute if you want to continue to watch. You may. But I just want to just touch a little bit 
more on the vampires first and how awesome they are and why I've got what I've got in the year 1893 I am dominating I cannot wait to go to war with uh, what's his name here this guy right here he's got a big army he's got the biggest army in the game right now for this for this particular playthrough session And he's going to be a worthy opponent. Of all the opponents I've gotten, these are all pretty much neutral average opponents. None of these are overpowered civilizations. And just like all games, there's at least one or two aspects of the game that are going to be overpowered. That's what makes the game fun. You've got to have that element in there. I got kind of lucky. Surprisingly, Wilhelmina is doing really well in this playthrough. Let's just see how many cities she has. She has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I also have 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. But this is the reason why I have a bunch of culture. And why I'm leading in culture. And I've got like three archaeologists on the way. That are in the womb of their mothers and they're going to be born soon. And I'm going to add to this list. Wilhelmina is always mad at me. Ambryoix. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing his name right. He's kind of a tool bag in my opinion. But that's for another video. Cleopatra. She loves me. And we will always be friends. Because I will always have a powerful military. All of my playthroughs I have powerful militaries. Because for one thing I'm the Viking Empire. Norway. There at the very top you can see. Now she's got, I haven't even looked. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cities. But look at this. She's got almost rivals mine. Mine is a little bit bigger than hers. When it comes to the artwork collection and music relics of the past stuff like that you know it's very very cool a mummified cat I've got one of them let's take a closer look at it shall we let's do it right now I go to my artwork here we go to the view gallery oh, yes. you don't even know what Sean Bean everybody how can I the magnificent Sean you. Bean Vanish away in the air, leaving you alone. Now I'm gonna skip through the rest of them. Let's just go right to the mummy. Wait, what's this? Created by the barbarians in the year 1838, it was found. But this this was um, created by the barbarians. Wow. It's a fresco. Huh. already had that before. Three sisters playing chess. Yeah. Very, very good. Very, very cool. He had discovered Amory Here we go. We're looking for the um oh look at that sword. It is known that it is I've got a cat. There it is. I've got a lot of stuff. There you go. So you got to get yourself um, vampires. Now you may be wondering about the other packs. I don't really know too much about them. I have tried the economy one, where you get the extra economy slot. That's nothing compared to what vampires can do. When I'm constantly getting culture and constantly getting science and constantly getting faith, constantly getting gold. I don't understand if there's anything else that matches. I don't think there's anything else that matches with that. Vampires are the best. They just are. The names of my cities. Let's check it out. Let me show you what the names of my cities are, and then we'll end this video. City status. The Viking Vampire 
Kingdom is the name of my capital. Uh, I'm sorry, Vampire Viking Kingdom is the name of my capital. Wait, I've got more than 13 cities. I've got more than 12 cities. I think that was just how many I could trade with those other civilizations when I saw. That's what that meant. That was just how many that they know about that if I wanted to, you can actually trade cities if you want to, I know. But you gotta get a really good deal if you're gonna be trading a city, you know. But I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 cities! And the vampire from Sesame Street jizzes his paths. Wow. That's a lot of cities. Have a good day and good luck in your campaign, whatever you want to call it, your playthrough session, whatever you want to call it, your map, when you play Civilization VI. And let me know what difficulty you play on. I play on Emperor. I've tried Immortal, but man, the Barbarians just wiped me out in the first, like, 50 turns. Have a good day.